Switch here, it'll lock and unlock it. This one here doesn't work, so it's no matter who. Alright, so inside here we have a plug on this side. So we unplug, there it is. And then on the other side there's a little plastic tab. So it's nice to have a tool like this. You stick it in there and get that little feller out of the way that solves that problem Let's throw it over there somewhere all right so this is a plastic push pin with a Phillips on there and if you push too hard on it or if someone has screwed this thing in and stripped it out okay you'll have problems this one here is still in pretty good shape it works it actually works like it's supposed to so we'll unscrew it get it out of there. It's always good to have some of these pop pliers. Pop, I don't know why it's a pliers. Come on. Uh, pop screwdriver. See how that goes. This has got to come off. This little triangle thing here just kind of pops loose. It has a couple of push in there. So you get that out of the way. Let's pull it behind this. And there we go. So you want to go ahead and take this out because it's going to fall on the ground. You're going to step on it and then you're going to be pissed. So always check, make sure we don't have any surprises. Because sometimes when these doors don't work properly, people put screws in them. And so we want to make sure that we don't have a surprise screw somewhere that someone just said, hey, I'm going to screw this thing on there and that's final. You know, so. There's not anything on there. So I forgot about that. Pop the speaker loose. Oops. Get the speaker loose. Yeah, this one has an aftermarket speaker, so that changes the way things screw down. Alright. It actually has some nice pulp audio. Speakers. And the reason why I like these Polk Audio speakers is because they're waterproof. So you can, I'm not saying, hey, you know, uh, let's go wash them down and get them all wet. I'm just saying that if they do get wet, it's not a deal breaker. There we go. All right. So we got that part loose, three small screws. And then, of course, it's an aftermarket speaker hookup here. So we're gonna get some of this stuff loosened up here. All right, so you got a, a positive and a negative. The positive one's gonna go on the wider terminal. 
Look at these speakers are hooked up. So there we go. A nice uh, Polk Audio DXI 650 uh, 180 watt speaker. So one of them doesn't work. I need to check into that. All right, so there's a couple screws in here, and that's why this part of the door won't come off, and I'm being dumb and slow. So we'll get this one out and redeem myself from my ignorance. Come out of there. All right, so there's our screw there. Throw it somewhere over there, and I think, hey, we got another one. Here. Looks like there should be a couple more of those. Cooperate to do the magnet or something. Mm -hmm. Get it with the magnet. Otherwise, there we go. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're all loose. Give that guy a little, little tuck here and there. You track your screws. One. Come on, there it is. Two. And then you just push up. So this little doodad pops out up here because it's kind of in a little groove. Ah, forgot this other screw. We'll get them all. Ah, not redeeming myself much today, am I? There. All right. All right. All right. I promise. There we go. There we go. Everybody's loose. Get rid of that. Okay. So we've got a door lock. Door lock solenoid in here somewhere. We'll get rid of this. I have some beautiful um, strips, some of this white strip stuff. I, I actually purchased some for this uh, type of stuff, so when we go back together, I'll fix it. But for now, we'll just get this stuff loose out of the way. Okay. Just a little feather.
Alright, let's have a look at this motor in here. Some elements accuse me of too much of anecdotes and so forth. But I think it would be appropriate before I say anything else that one of my favorite stories about government had to do with a, an employee who sat at a desk and papers came to his desk. He read them and determined where they were to go and initialed them and sent them on. And one day a classified document came there, but it came to him, so he read it, initialed it, and sent it on. 24 hours later, it came back to him with a note attached that said, you weren't supposed to see this. Erase your initials and initial the eraser. There we go. But even Howard Baker's writing a book about me. It's called Three by Five, The Measure of the Presidents. <laughs> All right, so I wasn't able to get the uh, pressed in part off of the armature. Okay, so when this is together, uh, this, the factory piece has a part pressed in on here. Well, I wasn't able to get that, so I took the armature out um, and thought I could figure out a way to do that. That doesn't work, so... I took the housing that holds the brushes off, and if you can see, yeah, they're in pretty bad shape. So that's possibly what the problem is. I don't know. We'll try it, see what happens. But I took this end off of it and and put the new one on the old old motor here, right here. And yeah, it looks like the grease is in good enough shape. I mean, it's just plastic. There's not really much going on in here anyway, so I'll put that sucker back together and test it out. GoPro, stop recording.